interesting sense of humour, though. Okay, back with Garrett. Big day tomorrow, isn't it? Off to Craster's Keep. Assuming you're not too busy looking for your North Grove. I thought you didn't believe in it. Not saying I do. But if it was real, can you trust Cotter with it? You ask me. There's just something off about him. Aside from him being an oily thief, I mean. Like he's holding something back. Wouldn't hurt to keep an eye on him. Don't need to tell me that. He steals my knife, then your stuff. I'm not sure I want him walking behind me while we're out there. Finn, get back on watch until your relief arrives. They're late. You think Mance Raider is going to wait for them? Right. Asshole. <laughs> and Tuttle, you've got torches that have gone out. Keep them lit. Let the wildlings know we're still home. Yes, sir. Tries coming over the wall. Well, those will stop them. Will they though? Wait, what do I do? Wait, use. That's iron wood for sure. Alright, guess I go down here then. Ah, there we go. So, like that one. Surprise, it's also coming. It'll be here soon. Wonder who's riding it. The last person you want. This must hold up the lift. It'd probably fall apart if it wasn't frozen together. Huh? Ice wall. Solid ice. This won't be melting. Pig farmer. Oh, that 300 mile walk. And you're still in my way. I figured we'd settle things on the way to Crasters. But this is even better. The wall's a dangerous place. People slip off all the time. Still have some fighting spirit left in you, huh? I did duty to my lord back on that bloody farm. And for doing a proper job of it, what I get? Banished to the fucking wall! I never did tell you about your father, did I? We bled him at first, like a pig. It seemed only fair he should feel what it's like. Near the end, he could barely breathe. Kept begging us to leave your sister alone. So I made sure he was still alive when she started screaming. It was the last thing your father ever heard. The more we sliced, the worse it got. Eh, he's not worth it. You're not worth it. I didn't come here to chat, you fucking cunt. <laughs> Too bad your father didn't fight like that. Might still be alive. And I thought you were going to make this easy. Stop, damn it! I don't want to fight you! What's the matter? Don't you want to make your father proud? <laughs> nope. uh, Let's see if you scream like you're sick. <laughs> you got lucky, pig farmer. You're going to slaughter me. Like my man back at your farm. At least let me have my sword. Keep it interesting. 
Or are you afraid? I swore my vows. I won't kill a brother. You're fucking pathetic, Tuttle. Finish it. Nah. We're done here. <sighs> well, fuck. Finn. Now it's fucked. It's nice knowing you, dude. Where are we? Ah, okay. Fire rush. My lord, our people are starving and afraid. The White Hills have driven them away from the ironwood groves. Out of the way! And so they come to us, looking for food. Food we don't have to spare. How can we support an army and retain our position in the north? We can't even feed the people we see before us. It's like the dead of winter's come. And it doesn't look like it's getting better. No one has more fight in them than Asher. I'm sure he and Malcolm will find us the army we need. Well, I hope we can figure something out. As long as the White Hills are in our house, we have to be careful. No shit. Come on, you! Let me go! You can't do this! Good. Uh, You're here. Uh, Look. Look at this! Uh, did you see what this girl did? She attacked my man like an animal! Bloody bit me! Yeah, now it's her turn! She's gonna get what she has coming to her. Uh, this won't go unpunished. Let go of me! She bit your man? How did that happen? What did he do to her? That doesn't matter. It matters what she did. Mm. I saw him stealing from our kitchen, and I told him to stop. He laid his hands on me, so I bit him. You bloody wench! I was only doing what had to be done. I warned you not to mistreat my men. Someone will have to answer for this. Do you hear me? Don't make this ugly. We've done enough for you. You can't push us any further. I can push you as much as I like. And if your people don't see that, they need to learn their place. This girl is out of control. Don't listen to him, Roderick. And if you can't rein her in, yeah, what, what about the rest of them? It's about time she saw a real lord again. Are you afraid of a young girl with all the armed soldiers you What? Have? I'm not afraid. I, I want order. But this house is in a shambles. Because of you. And the problem starts at the top, Roderick. Careful, boy. You yourself had the gall to make threats against my men. And that's the real problem with you foresters. You're too fucking proud. Always have been. It was bad enough when you were above us. And now it's even worse. Because you don't see how far you've fallen. Still high enough to look down at you. Wait. Forgive her. Forgive her. The passions of youth. 
No one questions your authority, Griff. You have the power. Oh, I like him. You thought this was your man, Roderick? He's mine. A dog to be sure, but my dog. That's how I like to see you, Foresters. Obedient servants! He's a loyal member of my house. A man of peace. And he deserves to be treated as such. You don't get it, do you? You Foresters need to learn when you're beaten. <laughs> you will learn some fucking humility. Oh, this won't be the last lesson I teach you, Foresters! Have you no honor? I'll run you through for that! I'll cut you down like straw men! Stand down, Royland! As you wish. I bet this makes you angry, eh? You probably want to get up and hit me. But we know how that would go, don't we? Now, are you gonna be a good little forester, learn your lesson, and stay down? Roderick! Stay. I said, get down! All the way down. Get up, Roderick! Stay down, my lord. Your brother defied Ramsay Snow. He didn't know his place, but we made damn sure he learned. I'll probably have to teach Talia here. Unless you're a good little forester, you learn your place and stay down. Some forester is going to learn their lesson today. You don't have to do that, Lord Griff. Uh, well, I'll stay down. <laughs> Consider this evening, girl. Your brother learned the lesson for you. You'd be wise to follow his lead. As would all of you. Your lord is a smart man. First in his line that understands. Now you need to understand too. You can be lord, Roderick. So long as we all know who holds the reins here. Come on. You did the right thing, my son. You had to submit. Aye. A true lord. But we... We let them win. Sometimes you gotta know when to keep your sword in its sheath. Oh dear. These are all pretty long episodes, it's kind of cool. Do you see that? He still acts like he rules the house. But he's let his guard down. So, did he get what he wanted? Or did you? At the time, I... I wanted you to crush him. He thinks he's one. But he and his men have gone soft now. They won't be ready when we do strike back. And when you're better, things will be different. I asked Ethan not to change who he was. I tried to make him promise me. I now know that was childish of me. I'm ready to change now. I'm willing to do anything to help our family. I mean it, Roderick. I don't care what. You don't have to do that. It's up to me to protect the house. This is my house too. I have to do something. And I'm sure the others will do whatever it takes as well. That is true. What you did, yielding to Griff, you had your reasons. But... No one can know the future. Whatever tomorrow brings, Talia, foresters will stand tall. We 
did it. I can't believe it. What are you waiting for? There's no good that can come from this. Not anymore. The Khaleesi will see you now. Okay. So, Asher Forrester, if you presume to speak of my dragons, Choose your words carefully. Alrighty then. Next time on Game of Thrones. What have you done, Garrett? Frostfinger is calling for your head. Tell me, Britain's death oh, was an accident. Shit. Mira, what are you doing? Mira, just tell me what's going on. What are you hiding you, from man. me? We are weak. We have no allies. And Griff claims to be the new Lord of Ironrath. There's been a raven from Lord Whitehill. He's invited us to High Point. Wait, what? Drogon wouldn't have attacked without reason. By order of the Queen! I... Fuck you and your Queen! Deal with your friend! Nothing ever stays in the past, Asha. Okay. Carried. It's time to go. I agree. <laughs> Alright then, well that was episode 3. All done and tested. So, thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you when we start playing episode 4. See ya.